Norse mythology by way of Shakespeare, and you thought comics weren't sophisticated. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Thor. I will return. Like our own universe in its earliest days, the Marvel Universe is rapidly expanding. But also like our own universe, the question stands, is there life out there? Studios like Sony and 20th Century Fox were the earliest pioneers, but these cowboys had a lack of respect for the source material. Thus, while they continued to reap huge financial rewards, they've lately found themselves in rocky creative territory. So Marvel followed that age-old advice of if you want something done well, do it yourself. Thus, they broke onto the scene with the pitch-perfect Iron Man, a mega-success that ushered in our current comic book movie renaissance. Feeling empowered and emboldened, Marvel Studios decided to take their successful crossover comic book events to the big screen. Thus, a common thread has been introduced, S.H.I.E.L.D. Headed by Samuel L. Jackson's Nick Fury with his man on the ground, Clark Gregg's special agent Phil Coulson running point, both actors have been busy popping up in all the films. In fact, Agent Coulson is a major supporting character in Thor, a movie that along with July's Captain America the First Avenger is very much a stepping stone to 2012's Avengers movie. But what remains to be seen is if Thor can stand on its own. Will Thor be one of Marvel Studios' big three, just as he is on the Avengers? Or will this be more of a bricks and mortar film like The Incredible Hulk, which helps flesh out the Marvel Cinematic Universe while not quite connecting with non-comic book fans? Thor certainly has the makings of a hit, starring two Oscar winners, two promising newcomers, and directed by respected Shakespearean artist Kenneth Branagh. Two of those points might be what's helping Thor with critics, who have embraced the film even though they're usually loath to praise such material. Has the audience been won over as well? Let's go find out. So I see from your t-shirt, are you familiar with Thor? <laughs> yes, yes I am. It was pretty familiar because of like comic books and um, like growing up in Marvel. There's a couple things in the movie that you, uh, if you're a comic book fan, you, you definitely will get. Did they get it right? Did I they think get Thor right? They, they got it in the most spiritual sense, I think. Well, I heard of him, but I never really knew who like it was. I knew he was like a in Marvel and all that, but never really. Well, how do you feel about him now? I think he's awesome. I really yeah. enjoyed the film. I was not as familiar with the, the story of Thor as I've been with Iron Man and Spider-Man yeah. and mm -hmm. Superman and yeah. Batman and all mm -hmm. those guys, so I thought they did, did a really good job. Do you like the character any better now that you've seen the movie? Yes. Did this movie make you like the character any better? Yeah. Oh, cool. Even, Excellent. Even more when the Avengers comes out. I liked it because it left it open to um, what you can do, for, what they're going to do for next, because, you know, there's a lot of things that can still happen for the next one. It was a great film, and I'm looking forward to the Avengers, so. So, so does this movie stand on its own, or is it just like, Avengers is coming? Oh, um, it stands on his own, and at the same time, like everybody's psyched about the Avengers. It was, it was a good it was movie. Good movie. Yeah? yeah, yeah. Action on it. It's actually still just special effects. There's acting and stuff. A lot yeah. of movies are special effects, but you don't, you know, the oh, movie doesn't oh, really yeah. carry it. Mm -hmm. Both sides of it carried. It was a well, you know, told story. It was entertaining. There was action. There was love. There was so, you know, had a little bit of everything. What did you think, Chris Hemsworth, as Thor? Um, as a matter of fact, I'm thinking of going to the gym right now. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't probably remember he was in Star Trek. I yes, remember seeing him. Very briefly. Yeah, very briefly. <laughs> yeah, he was. And you know, like I said, I think he did a really good job with it. He held his own, and you know, he I, I, he was believable as a leading man. Do you man. think he can hold his own against Robert Downey Jr.? Oh, that's gonna be a tough one. Yeah. But you know what? He does have a lot of charisma. Are you a fan sure. of the Marvel movies? Yes. Yes. Which what is your favorite um, one so far? God, uh, it's hard to say. Uh, they've all been good. I have to say Iron Man. Iron Man, yeah. yeah. Iron I like the first Iron Man. That that was that was the really the second one. It was okay, but I really like the first one better. Um, I'll have to agree, just because I think Robert Downey Jr. does a great yeah. job as Tony Stark. But this is pretty close, like I said. I think I go with Iron Man. Three. Iron Man. Three. Iron Man. Three. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is the best one. For now. This one. This one? Oh, great, great. <laughs> what do you give it on a 1 to 10? 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. I would say a uh, 9. Oh, excellent. A 9, too. I'll give it a 9, actually. Okay, all right. How about you? Um, about 9. I think I give it a 10. I would give it a 10. Sounds like Thor is truly a mighty movie, as audiences give it overall a 9.5. And be sure to check out our friends over at Screen Team, who have a fun Thor music video up on their channel to help get you in the mood to see the movie. 
I'm Grace Randolph reporting from Regal Union Square, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.